Hello and welcome back to Retro Renovations. Today we are going to show you around our Bedford Rascal camper van. Or correction, as this one is known as a Vauxhall Rascal. Mm. Now people who know me will, will laugh at that because... You don't like Vauxhalls. No, I'm not a big fan of Vauxhalls. But it's but, just rebadged from the Bedford. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Peggy's hit the nail on the head there. <laughs> this is a Bedford Rascal. It just got rebadged. It's also the same as the Suzuki Super Carry. Which we do own a van. We got the van and we'll do a tour of that at some point. Um, the, the only literally is cosmetic difference between the Suzuki Super Carry and this one is like the, the steering wheel different, the badge. <laughs> very 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 s they're, they're basically the same. The same. Yeah it's the same parts. They both use the Suzuki 970cc five speed engine and gearbox. All the same throughout, doesn't change. So it's the same running gear. So this is a fully kitted out camper version that we've just acquired. And we're gonna give you the tour. The tour. To show you how small this vehicle is, Peggy is going to demonstrate. There you go, Peggy. What do you reckon your meet your your arm length is a meter each? I don't know. Isn't it meant to be whatever you outstretch is what you are high? So that is, that's about 5'4". So the van is about two of Peggy. Oh. <laughs> about one and a half. There you go. That's how small this van is. So if we were to park this to say next to a traditional Ford Transit, everybody knows a Ford Transit, we're half the size of a Ford Transit. It's very, very tiny. Years ago, we actually had a blue one of these and exact same make as well, which is the wheel home, which is, means it's a coach built camper van. So these are marketed and built as a proper camper van. We restored that other one around about 2002, 2003. Well then. And it's still on the road now. It is. And that also had a ball bar. Just like this. But it had a middle section, so tell them what you didn't like about the one we restored all those years ago. Chloe put the spare tire here. <laughs> and when you braked it did that. It was very, very scary. Not literally. <laughs> so for those of you who think, how can you stand in a tiny camper like this? It does have a pop top roof, so you can stand up in it. Now, when we got this, unfortunately, it didn't come with the cushions at the back. So we are going to get some made and then have them all refabricated, including the seats, so they all match. So you've got this box. It's not in properly either. It's not in place at the moment. We so do you want to just describe how it works? There's a bar here that goes up and over. When it's in right forward position, it covers hatch there which goes into the engine because the ends of these are at the front underneath the seats then these lift up and they go right down flat the seats go forward and that is your double bed we'll demonstrate in a later video when we have replaced all the cushions and then when this is pushed right back and these sit up like so that is when you have your two seats at the back and you do have seat belts already in the back and for also another multi-purpose there is storage underneath how amazing is that what a fantastic use of space so that is your bed your seats your seats and and storage your storage and it's deep storage as well 
and that rotates back and forth on yeah. a rotating bar on the bar that goes like that and then when it's pushed right back as well you can use the back of your front seats as the back of the back seats because you also have this is not I got it, tables so you can put them seats back that way and sit on them and I think there's one either side there is there's this one and there's one over there so you can actually sit in and dine it inside which Peggy struggles with the table so you got four way purpose you've got your bed mm -hmm. a double seat mm -hmm. to eat a double seat passengers face it forward seat belted in and storage yeah. all from one box first thing we're going to show you as well is the front of the camper and the good thing about these is if I open the door is your seating position it feels like you're driving a bus Where to now? Ding, ding. Yeah, ding ding this vehicle is 1990 this is a H reg mm -hmm and we often don't think 1990 was that long ago but that's 30 years ago now so this vehicle is 30 years old and it's of an older design because the first ones of these came around about 1984-85 and they didn't really change they kind of stayed the same so this interior this dash and so on is in essence 35 years old with the uh, hand jar there. <laughs> the, the hand jar is not 35 years old. No, though. no, no, it's not 35 years old. And this model has only done 55,000 and came with all the service history. Amazing. And the previous owner must have had a problem with the horn. So to keep it with the MOT, the horn is on a separate switch just here. But you've still got nice push switches. Yeah. And you've got your airflow controls there, the heater controls. And despite um, being a small dash, you've still got a decent sized decent glove, size box. glove box. And the previous owner also popped in this box here, which is normally doesn't come in the standard. And it's a very use, useful space, really, because you can now use that for storage. So and it's comfortable. It's and look at those seats, comfortable. they're very comfortable. It's a comfortable space. It is a comfortable space. And visibility is perfect in these. You can see all the way round. The pillars are really thin, as you will see. You see how narrow these pillars are. They really don't get in the way of driving vision at all. Perfect. And you're higher up as well, so you get full view and you get to look down too. So as if you're in a proper van. Now a good thing with these little campers that if you're somewhere and it's a little bit wet, starts to rain, the tailgate, ta-da, instant cover. That's quite impressive as well, isn't it? And it's out your way. It's out, yeah. And also, if you're sat on those seats as the dinette, mm -hmm. sat facing the tailgate, what a view. There's nothing in the way. No. Now we're going to show you the utilities it has. It comes quite equipped, this little van. So, as you can see, it has a fridge, cupboard, sink, and with this model, it has an underslung water tank. So it even has water that you can have for your sink. Whereas our previous model that we had a few, quite a few years ago didn't have that, so it's always bottled water. We also have a grill and two rings. So you can always make sure you can have your bacon butters your crumpets with your cheese on. You also have more storage as there's a cupboard underneath the sink, there's a cupboard underneath the grill and hull and there's a tiny little cupboard here and as you can see there's space for your gas bottle too. Now we're going to show you the pop top roof. Now uh, they have these poppers on the side to hold everything down when you can undo them like that and they have these pins there is a hole you just pull it out for the minute and it has these straps as well so there's always extra things to hold it down so when you're driving along it doesn't suddenly creep up Once 
once the roof's up, you can stand up. Hello! So is this the smallest camper van in the UK? I know there's a couple of marina versions that possibly are smaller, but for generalisation, this is a small camper van. So you can stand here and cook quite easily and you can stand here and wash up quite easily and you've still got plenty of room. So while Peggy is putting the roof back down, as you can see, it's not that hard to put it back down but she's just doing all the clipping and so on. I just want to show you a couple of other features that this has got. I'm just going to perch myself down here. So yeah, it's got a fitted fire extinguisher. Around here, you've got your water tank level, which I think is absolutely fantastic. So just inside the door, we've got a water tank level here. The fridge, but it's got tape over it. It's 30 years old. It's probably the original fridge. So we'll be using the fridge with cool box, uh, cool box. Cool box blocks. As a cool box. Cool box blocks. Um, we'll put them in before we go away. We won't generally be firing the fridge up, but we will be using the grill and cooker. The bag under there is just the grill pan, it's just wrapped up to stop it rattling. As I say, as a fire extinguisher and wonderful features, the built-in lights. And now on both sides, they give plenty of light for a small little van like this. And just in the cupboard there is the 12 volt switches. Now the battery is all off of the main battery which is in the middle of these. It's only a small battery but it'd be more than adequate for you to have your light on in the evening. Another good feature that the previous owner has done is he's put these little roof air vents in, the mushroom type ones. So I've just opened this one, I'll close it back up. And it's just as simple. And it's got a rubber ring in it as well to keep any moisture, water from getting in. And you can hear it. There you go, that's so If you get tight. too hot in the night, you can open them up. The other nice little feature with this van is Wheel Homes did a really good job and it's carpeted throughout. And it's not rough. It's Some not carpets rough. you can get a rough even on the walls. And despite the age of this vehicle, the roof and all the linings. You know when carpet starts to turn to dust and so on? For a 30 year old example of this, it's still in very, very good condition and we're very, very happy with it. We are indeed. To access the engine. First, make sure your seat's as full as it can go. There's a clip just down here. Pull and lift. And the reason why you do your seat is so it can sit back. A very, very basic suspension strut mid-engined 970cc petrol Suzuki unit radiator at the front and rear wheel drive gearbox 5 speed going out that way so we need to do some welding to it for the next MOT we also need to put carpets no curtains and cushions and also just to reupholster those cushions and reupholster the front seats so they match so 2021 we may be coming your way in a rascal van thanks for joining us on our little camper tour yeah and we will be somewhere near you hopefully soon. So let us know what you think in the comments. We look forward to reading them. Cheers. See you on the next one. See you on the next one. Up, up, up in a painted cup I will pour my love from a cloud above 
So bright I can see the lights Taking you up and above the blue sky Tastes good to be drinking all of the honey sweet brew of ours Up up in a painted cup Right in the sky like a firefly Like a firefly I believe to believe is to feel the fire grow I believe to believe is to see how the present comes from dreams Up, up, up in a painted cup I will paraglide across the sky Let flowers and tiny hearts shape in a line in the cup of ours So sweet like a honeybee can buzz around a honey tree Up, up in a painted cup I ride in the sky like a firefly a firefly I believe to believe is to feel the fire grow within I believe to believe is to see how the present comes 